Welcome to Higher Insights. I'm your host, Albrecht Higher. Today we'll be talking about energetics with our guest, Michael Isatzi R., who is a physicist and also very well versed in the whole area of energetics and metrics and so on. Welcome, welcome back to our show. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you <laughs> for having me <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we are having it over energetics. That's a very broad spectrum of, uh, right. of things. So, uh, but let's start saying, defi not defining my energetic, but you know, what do you, what do you peop what do people use energetic? Well, the device is uh, called matrix decoder and it's mainly uh, reads energy of each cellular structure. It has, everything is energy. So imagine each organ has a particular energetic frequency. And there's two headsets that have special things that when we send a signal to the, when we put the headsets on, it sends a signal to the brain to each organ that we want to measure. So let's say we want to measure the energy of the brain. Yeah. Okay? It sends a signal to those headsets to the brain to measure that particular area. And it measures the whole area and gives us a, a nonlinear analytical analysis. What does it mean, nonlinear analytical? We do not go into the brain. We just measure the frequency. And it gives us an energetic state of the brain. What does it give us? It gives us a pathomorphology, if there's any kind of bacteria is there, a psychological state. And we could actually measure everything energetically without actually you know, going to a psychologist for 10 years to figure out what's going on there. Yeah, but yeah. actually just measure the frequency of that particular thing that what we want to measure and find out what's going on there. So I'm going to give you like an example. Let's say, say that particular guy we measured and we have six different fields, you know, from let's say those yellow dots that we see it, to triangles going up, to triangles going down. And then we can actually go and see if there's any sort of pathomorphology, let's say in the brain, energetic pathomorphology. And it says that the person has a slight psychological issue and neurogeosis, but that's only one state. Let's say now we want to find out if the person has any kind of fears, or let's say we want to find out how it's psychological. So we click on fears over here, and it gives you his energetic state, what is this person is afraid of. And that's again, not necessarily, but it gives you the psychological state of yeah. what the person's afraid. So now we can see, okay, so the person is overexhausted, he has dependence, he's got fears, and feeling like too much stress in his life. Mm -hmm. Let's say we want to see how he feels emotionally. S and that's all just going through the brain. Imagine how much more we can find out going deeper and deeper into the, into the psychological state because the everything starts with energy, then it moves to the psychological and then it moves to the physiological state. Mm -hmm. So why this technologies are today moving forward because we can determine in an early, early stage 